So why is it that the children have to destroy the family business? Immigrant father starts up a business and makes this fantastic business over years, builds a mini empire or a full-size empire. He has three children, three boys. One of the boys has the values of the father and he wants to keep the business going just like it was. The other boy has other dreams, wants to be something else. He doesn't want to be tied down to the old grindstone of this family business, but he likes the money that the family business generates. So he's going to siphon money off to do his own ventures, which will ultimately weaken the business. Then there's the playboy son who just wants to live and party. He knows that there's money there and he's going to be constantly trying to tap it. So two of the three kids are taking money away from the business. One wants to keep it going. When dad dies, the kids want to split. The two other kids are going to want to split and get their share. So they're going to force the sale because because the business has been drained over the years, it's become anemic and it typically doesn't end up even selling for the kind of value that it, it could have maintained. <clears throat> the reality is the kids were smart. They probably all should have stayed together and ran that store together and made it its best and maybe opened up another store. But when you're the child, you didn't see or feel the pain and experience the hard work that the father went through to build that empire. So for you, Maybe it feels like free money, or maybe it's that devil that you know, you're sick of it. You're sick of looking at it. And some people, they started this business and they hate their business. They hate the business that made them wealthy. They gave them security and they reach out into other businesses, areas where they don't have expertise. Sometimes they have hubris and ego because they've already been successful in one area. They take money from their good bread and butter business and they jump into other ventures. And guess what happens when they jump into other ventures? Snip, snip, they lose money and they keep coming back and they keep coming back to the pool, this foundation, the, the solid bread and butter money making business. People get tired of that business and it feeds them and sustains them because it's too safe. I think what we need to do is all of us need to reinvent our eyes and rather than sitting there in that business that feeds us and takes care of us and looking at it and resenting it and resenting the business for keep making us slaves, slaves to it, we should be grateful that that business exists in the first place and put on a new pair of rose colored glasses and look at this business and say, look at this wonderful empire I made. Look at this wonder, wonderful empire my father made. I'm not going to squander this. I'm going to keep it alive and I'm going to, I'm going to keep it moving forward. And I'm not just going to be one of the baby calves sucking on the teat and draining the milk out of this business. I'm going to make this business better. I'm going to make I'm going to make this business better than what my father had started. Let me know what you think.